So in continuation with the new economic policy 1991, the watchwords were LPG, that is liberalization, privatization and globalization. In this, we are going to talk about private, we have spoken about privatization and we'll continue with privatization. And in this, we're going to talk about the need for privatization. Why privatization? So you're going to really know what was the, what was, what compelled us to take up this uh, privatization in 1991 new economic policy. Basically, we are going to do that. Just go through this. So privatization, the need was, uh, see, important thing was during the process of industrialization was started during the second five-year plan which gave a key role to the public sector undertakings. And the industrial policy resolution of 1956 clearly stated the significance of the PSUs in the process of growth and development. So we had this welfare motive, we had, so it was very important to build up the industrial base. So it is beyond doubt that it was through the spread of PSUs that India could diversify its industrial base between the period 1950 to 1990. And it was on account of the spread of these public sector undertakings that the Indian economy underwent a structural transformation. People started shifting from agriculture to industry as a source of livelihood and there was a gradual increase in the percentage contribution of industry to GDP. And PSUs gave us the Navratnas, that is the nine jewels of the Indian industry. Just find out what they are, you should name them, they're all over the place. And of course, uh, besides a host of mini Ratnas, what are mini Ratnas? They are many jewels but you, it was found that gradually the public sector undertakings turned into a liability because of their losses because of the losses they became unsustainable there was leakage there was pilferage inefficiency co corruption which was seen in these PSUs and that is why their privatization became so important that was the only remedy and accordingly in 1991 the government decided to phase out public enterprises by selling its equity to private entrepreneurs privatization was to replace public ownership of a large number of enterprises. So yeah, you, you one could not just let the, the infrastructure that had been made to just go waste. So we could get hold of some good entrepreneur, private entrepreneur who could just take it up from there. So again, just to wrap up, so why did we uh, go in for privatization? It was because of the poor performance of the public enterprises. So we thought that privatization would introduce efficiency and profitability in the public sector undertakings. And moreover, there were budgetary deficits. Or so much of expenditure on these to maintain these public sector undertakings, which were loss-making enterprises now. And the capital output ratio is very high, which means so much of capital was put and consumer rate to that the output was not enough. So uh, privatization, they thought would result in the use of modern techniques of production and thereby would reduce the cost of production and thereby bring about a better uh, capital output ratio. And not only that, what is important was that this promotes consumer sovereignty, uh, which means that they would be given a wider choice of goods and services. 
and also a better standard of living.